And, you know, we've been doing this a long time. And he's very fortunate to be doing as many tours as we've done. Excited about playing some of the new material to the masses. Yeah, that certainly is a hell of a lineup. Um, I mean, I think on the same bill is Hate Eternal, Vital Remains, and Abysmal Dawn. Yes. Well, we toured with Abysmal Dawn before and Hate Eternal back in the day, so I, I don't think David Suzuki's in the band anymore, but um, Tony was always nice and personal with us. I'm sure he'll be fine. It's you know? going to be a melt your face off kind of tour, and there's some excellent players on it. So. Oh, yeah, for sure. I uh, see you also have a show booked in Puerto Rico. Uh, have you guys played Central or South America before? No, we have not. Um, we're doing Puerto Rico. Uh, it's just one show, but uh, I guess we lose some albums down there or something. So we're going to do that, and uh, then we come back, and then there's some European dates that haven't been posted yet. And then there's talk of uh, our second uh, Australia, New Zealand run. So. Ah, uh, great. Okay. Really had a great time. Cycloptic was just phenomenal musicians and just great people. The whole tour, you know, was Misery Index, Origin, Cycloptic, Decapitated, and had a great time. Yeah, I have to say, I caught you guys when you played Perth, and yeah, that was definitely one of the best shows I've been to. So yeah, it'll be great to see you again. Yeah, well, I remember that show. It was uh, Black Daddy's. It was the last show, and I think we opened that day, and it was... <laughs> I know we played second, and I think, like, uh, it, we might have been kind of shocking to the crowd, because, like, I think they just kind of stood there. <laughs> but it was, you know, cool club, and had a lot of fun there. Got to see some kangaroo the next day, and then we had to fly to Singapore. So it was a lot of fun. Really looking forward to going back. Had a really good time in Australia. Even though I spent most of the time at the airport, you know, I'm used to buses or vans and stuff like that. I'm not used to, like, airports. It was different for me. It was, uh, it was a new experience for me. Oh, that's the problem. I mean, our cities are just so far apart that, you know, it'll take you forever to get anywhere by car, so, yeah. Yeah, they said it was a lot more feasible, so, and it was pretty cool on one on one of the flights. One of the flight attendants knew the band, so they did an announcement. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. <laughs> Over the intercom. You know, we're touring with the metal bands, uh, Origin, Jury Index, uh, Psychotic, and Decapitated. And this elderly gentleman was like, Decapitated? Doesn't sound like uh, they're going to be singing too much about much. <laughs> and I was like, just laughed. It's pretty That's funny. Nice. Okay. Um, uh, now, I have a question from one of my friends on the web. Uh, he really digs the slower songs that you played on your self titled album from way back in 2000. I was wondering if you'd ever consider writing a song in that slower style again. Um, well, I mean, there's more dynamics on this new album. Uh, if you listen, if you heard the stuff that we did before the self-title coming into existence, the speed was a little bit faster on that even. I mean, there is ideas trying to create more dynamic. You know, I'm not against it. We just have to find the right thing that makes sense just because... Sometimes we are, I like playing fast, John likes playing fast, Mike likes playing fast, you know, but I can understand now that we've been around a little bit that the listener might want a part to groove on a little bit more, so, yeah, you know, we, I'm not saying it's unquestionable, it's, you know, the band changing dynamically, but if you change too much, the crowd will eat you alive, or the fans, yeah. well, especially on the internet. If you do something a little outside the box, you better be prepared to, I don't know, not read the internet for about six months. <laughs> so, <laughs> Yeah, well, that's the thing. That's the internet for you. I mean, I doubt you'd get people coming up to you at shows saying, oh, you played that at 160 BPM or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, like, personally, people are very vocal on the internet, and then nobody says anything to your face, you know what I mean? And, mm. and you know, people are entitled to their opinion, you know? It's just sometimes, you know, it's like, is this personal, or did I send you for something? Like, if I send you, then, you know, you don't have to listen to it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. A lot of experiences that a band goes through, living in a van for six months, I still feel like we hold ourselves integrity-wise in the same vein. We haven't, like, completely changed. And I do play music more than just what's recorded in Origin. I mean, some of that stuff finds its way in the music a little bit. Like, you know, we did an acoustic piece just as an interlude. Oh, right, okay. You know, just creates, like, a break so the listener can take it easy for a second, you know what I mean? So <laughs> Yeah. And there's stuff that, you know, I could have done on other albums like that, but 
there was other members in the band that weren't into that idea. And, you know, with me, John, and Mike, it's a lot more cohesive, you know, bonding and understanding of our music. You know, it's just changed over the years. And, you know, also I'm not 20. You know, so I'm not angry all the time. People are mildly amused, and I'm a pretty peaceful person when they see me after playing such crazy music. Yeah, that actually does seem to be a theme amongst a lot of metal players out there, or at least I've noticed. Further to that thing about, you know, internet backlash or whatever, it seems to me that, you know, the listener gets that involved with the music that they feel like they own it in some kind of way, and when you take the band in a different direction it's kind of a shock to people that they don't realize that you know it's actually it's your project you know what i mean it's crazy i mean I, i'm surprised that people even listen to this music so you know what i mean i played death metal when no one listened to my bands and you know now people listen to them and i'm sure there'll be a point where no one listens to my band again i'll still be playing music you know what i mean mm. so i you know i'm not expecting someone's life to entirely make sense with my band of the music that I create. So tell me, what sort of stuff are you listening to these days? Um, well, you know, I still listen to a lot of old death metal. One of my favorite bands of all time is Death Still. Like, I listen to them probably more than anyone else. I listen to Meshuggah. I just got the DVD, which is great. Like, if you're a Meshuggah fan, I can understand. Like, most people don't. Some people in the brutal death metal scene don't like it. You know, from a musician standpoint, I've been looking to a composer that's been deceased for a long time called Francisco Torreca, a classical guitar player, just to make myself a better guitar player. You know what I mean? Like I say, I, I love music. I play music. I'm a guitar player. I'm only known for my death metal. You know what I mean? So uh, I got to, earlier this year, I bought the new Gorgasm. Did not disappoint at all. Uh, I'm a fan of that band. I think they're like one of my favorite brutal death metal band of all time. Even though it's a different lineup, you know, it's still great. You know, for all the Gorgasm fans, if you haven't heard it, check it out. It's great. Right now, speaking of Morbid Angel, I, I haven't heard that, but uh, I don't know. It seems pretty, I don't know. People are very vocal about it. So. Yeah, that does seem to be uh, dividing opinions uh, on the net out there. Yeah. So, I, I, you know, I haven't heard the whole album. I know there's a techno song or something. I saw, We played with them in France a couple of years ago. They played a song called Nevermore. I thought it was dead on, but, you know, that was with Pete playing drums. And I don't know. I'm hearing a lot of backlash. I don't know what to think yet. So, I thought I'll just state that I'll probably be hearing new more Angels soon. I don't know what to think already, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, I suppose time will tell how that uh, album is going to go down in history, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Uh, well, Paul, I'd like to thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us. Um, I'd like to wish you best of luck with the tour and with the new album.